Um, as you know, you have a lot of Tea Party support here in Colorado. Um, I run a company called Tea Party Brewing, and as the owner of that company, I myself support you. And I know a lot of people in various different groups that support you. Um, there are some leaders of, our, of other, other groups that may not, but I just wanted to let you know that there is a significant amount of support among the Liberty and Tea Party groups here in Colorado. And um, I believe that there's also a significant amount of support throughout the country, not just Tea Party, the 912 groups, but people who have followed you through your career um, throughout the country. I think I've had read comments about the, that they would be jumping for joy if they had this opportunity. This is the uh, a dream come true, having a third party candidate like Ken Credo. Why isn't everybody getting behind him? Um, so I'd just like you to know that, and I feel that your becoming governor here in Colorado will not only help our state, but it will help our country. So can you elaborate um, on how you feel that your being the governor here will help not only Colorado, but other states in the country as a whole? Sure. Um, well, first of all, thank you. I, I, I do agree and believe that we do have a great deal of Tea Party and 912 support. I mean, I did speak to the National Convention of Tea Party in Nashville. I've spoken to probably 30 or 40 different Tea Party organizations outside of Colorado and at least that many inside of Colorado. Uh, and I know I have a lot of people who support me because I support them, frankly. I support their efforts. I think it's wonderful. I've said over and over again that the best thing that, best thing about Obama, if you can find anything good, is the fact that he has sparked this reaction in the country. There would not have been a Tea Party, there would not have been a 912 movement, had not it been for the fact that we now have a, a Marxist, essentially, as the, uh, as the President of the United States. And people are saying, you know, I just don't. I just don't know what this is all about, and I'm going to do something about it. So I love it, and I love the Tea Party movement, and I love the 912 movement. What I think it, it would benefit by is a governor who is willing to lead a charge for a Tenth Amendment revolution in this country. And I think we're set for it, I really do. I think Governor Christie, uh, Governor Brewer, and others have helped start that, that flame to burn it. And it can actually, I, I believe, it can turn into a massive bonfire of support for states' rights. That's way this, that is the way this whole system was supposed to have worked. You know? The federal government being this little tiny thing over here that dealt with foreign powers, the coinage of money, the regulation of interstate commerce, and that's about it. Now there are literally thousands of actual laws against you doing one thing or another that are federal laws. And really, it was never meant to be that way. States were to take care of all of that. The federal government had a really limited role, and over time we've expanded it, but it's time, and Obama can actually be the, the catalyst for this. People are ready to take back their own rights under the Tenth Amendment, and I'm ready to lead them in that charge. Very good.